Hi skaters! On behalf of the Rinks and Great Park Ice, this is our Spins 3 off-ice training video. In this video, we're going to start with a dynamic warm-up, then we're going to go into technique and tips to master the difficult variations for the international judging system, and we're going to follow it by some stretching and cool-down. The dynamic warm-up should be used before any on-ice or off-ice training sessions. The goal of the dynamic warm-up is to increase your blood flow, warm up joints, and activate key muscle groups. This is great to make you feel better in your training and safely train so you can prevent getting injured. We're gonna break down the dynamic warm up into four key areas, range of motion, dynamic movements, dynamic stretches, and muscle activation. Starting with range of motion, we're gonna start with our neck. Let's do eight neck rolls to the left. And continue, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do eight neck rolls to the right. And continue, five, six, seven, eight. Next we're gonna do shoulder rolls. Four back. Four forward. Now lift your arms and continue to roll the shoulders. And forward. Next is called trunk twist. Twist to the right, twist to the left. Make sure you hold your head still. Turn your shoulders and pull your belly button into your spine. And our hips. Left. And right. Finally, ankle rolls. Lift your leg. Roll eight times to the right and eight times to the left. And repeat on the other leg. For the dynamic movements, we're going to do high knee runs, butt kickers lateral shuffle, and jumping jacks. First, the high knee runs. Start across the floor, lift your legs, and run. For butt kickers, your feet are gonna go behind. For lateral shuffle, put your hands in front, bend your knees slightly, and shuffle across the floor. And for jumping jacks, you're going to bring your hands together at the top of your head and open your legs. For dynamic stretches, we're going to start with quad pulls, lateral lunges, lunge and step with rotation, and T-spine rotation. First, the quad pull. Lift your foot, grab it in your hand, and pull your knee back. Switch feet, and do the other side. For lateral lunges, start with your feet together and your hands on your waist. Step to the side, and bend. Lean forward. Stand up. Step to the side and bend. Lean forward. Let's do eight of those. Next, lunge and step with rotation. Same position with your feet together and your hands on your waist. Step forward, rotate and touch the floor. Stand up, step forward, rotate and touch the floor. Stand up. Let's do eight of those. T-spine rotation, bring your feet together, lift your arms. 
Bend your knees forward. Drop your back. Rotate to the right. Look at the ceiling. Go to neutral. Rotate to the left. Look at the ceiling. And go to neutral. Our final part of the dynamic warm up is muscle activation. We're going to do four exercises heel to toe raises, prone plank, squat jump prep, and quarter squat jumps. For the heel to toe raises, Stand with your feet together. Lift your heels. Lift your toes. Lift your heels. Lift your toes. Lift your heels. Lift your toes. This is a great way to warm up your ankles. For prone plank, bring yourself down to the floor. Body straight, elbows on the ground, and pull your core in. Try to keep your back flat and your hips, legs, and head in line. For our squat jump prep, we're going to use our waist to bend, our knees to bend, our ankles to bend, and our ankles. Let's review that again. Our waist, our knees, our ankles, rising to the ball of your feet. So we're gonna go forward, in, rocks. Forward, in, rocks. Now the quarter squat jump, put your feet right underneath your shoulders and your hands on your waist. We're gonna divide our rotation into four quarters. Left, behind, right, and forward. Bend into our squat jump prep position and go up, up. We've now completed the dynamic warm-up. Be sure to do each exercise eight times to be thoroughly warmed up. For difficult variations in your spins for the international judging system, we're gonna break this down into three basic positions. The camel spin, the upright spin, and the sit spin. Along with a non-basic position that's also able to be used to get another position on your spins. The camel spin is very important to have your knee above the hip. If your knee drops below the hip, it's no longer a camel spin. So make sure that you keep the knee above the hip. When talking about difficult variations in the camel position, it's defined by your shoulders. There's going to be a camel forward, where your shoulders are flat, a camel side, where your shoulders are vertical, and a camel up, where your shoulders are beyond vertical. When you're in this position of the shoulders, keep your knee above the hip. It can be bent, it can be straight. You can grab it with your hand on the blade and do extra flexibility movements, but as long as that knee is above the hip and your shoulders are in the different positions, you'll get credit for your camel difficult variation. When talking about your sit spin difficult variations, a sit spin is defined by your skating leg or the leg that you're spinning on being at the parallel position or lower. So if you get too high in your sit spin, you're gonna get credit for a non-basic instead of a sit spin. So make sure your leg stays level with the ice or lower in order to get credit for that sit spin. Your sit spin difficult variations are gonna be defined by a sit forward Typically, your leg will be straight or bent, and your body will be down. A sit side, where your free leg goes to the side of your body, or a sit behind, where your free leg is behind the body. As long as your skating leg, or the leg that you're spinning on, is at parallel or lower, and you're in a difficult variation of forward, side, or behind, you're gonna get credit for your sit variation. For the upright, the three different categories are upright straight, upright forward, upright layback. Additionally, the Beelman is also considered an upright. So for the upright straight, you wanna make sure that your skating leg is straight or only slightly bent. Don't let it bend too much 
where it becomes a non-basic. Keep your skating legs straight. And variations of this is you can have the leg to the side or forward or behind you completely straight. The upright forward, your body is going to lean forward. Your free leg again is optional. Can be here, can be here, as long as there is significant strength and flexibility in the upright forward position. The upright layback position is typically done with the shoulders back, the hand on the blade, and stretching. And oftentimes, skaters will then go into the upright heelman position, where the foot gets directly on top of the skating foot or the spinning center of the axis, and stretch and pull with additional strength and flexibility. A non-basic difficult variation is any position that doesn't meet the basic requirement that also has additional strength and flexibility. So if you're a little bit too high on a sit, your knee's a little too low on the camel spin, or you're not quite back on your upright, or your skating leg is too bent on your upright, you might fall into the non-basic variation category. Or, if you go down and up into three windmills, that's also considered a non-basic variation. Sometimes you see skaters bend the leg like this, rotate the shoulders, and spin in that position for another non-basic type variation. Once you're done doing your workout, it's important to do a stretching and cool down to help relax your muscles. We're gonna start by bringing our arm behind our back and trying to grab the hands together and pulling it. This is gonna really open up your shoulder blade. And other side. Now, let's rotate the arm across and stretch, across and stretch. Go ahead and hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. From here, bring your hands forward and try to put your hands flat down on the ground. And press and flat. And now let's roll your back, let it hang and open. Hang and open. Go ahead and sit on the ground and bring your feet together to do the butterfly stretch. Push your knees down with your elbows. Bring your feet forward and try to touch your toes or bring your hands past your toes. Now let's open up and stretch to the side. And open up and stretch to the side. And then try to go forward. Finally, it's very important to stretch your split. and repeat that on both sides. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Christopher Pottinger, the skating manager at the Rinks Anaheim Ice. On behalf of Great Park Ice and the Rinks, we really appreciate you watching our videos and staying safe at home while working on your Learn to Skate and Skating Academy elements. We hope to see you on the ice soon. Bye.